Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got China Glaze Sparks Will Fly, and I'm going to magnetize it and stamp it. I've already got my base coat on. It's Dainty Digits Glitter Be Gone. And look how flawless this formula is on this polish. This is one my friend Connie sent me earlier this year, and I'm just now getting to play with it. Look how perfect. Love it. I'm going to cap my tip real quick. There we go. And now we're going to go in for our second coat. And I do a much thicker second coat. Um, normally I make a great mess doing this. I'm, I'm doing magnet polishes because you do want a really nice thick layer before you do the magnet. But this one I actually keep it kind of cleaned up. I'm going to be using my China Glaze Magnet. It's got three designs on it. And I'm going to use like the Chevron design today. I got mine off of eBay. I do believe they were in the Sally's Beauty Supply Shops for a while, but I haven't seen them here lately. And I just hold the magnet over for about 15 to 20 seconds before I let up. And I know this is kind of boring, but you know, this is how you do magnets. <laughs> there we go. We have our magnet done. I've done a little bit of cleanup. Now I'm going to top this off with some Posh Top Coat. And let it dry down because you know even though this is gorgeous and I could wear it just like this I have to do a little bit of stamping so we're gonna get this dry so we can stamp on it yes and here we go I'm gonna be using this AYL 30 plate from Aliexpress and gesso and my Conad stamper and scraper I love these little acrylic plates. I've just been so happy with them. And I am using the Roland method with this Conad stamper. My friend Chris Thon told me that they prefer to be rolled, so I'm going to roll it. I'm cleaning up that excess with a piece of tape. And I'm just going down the side of the manicure with this design. Wanted to add something to it, but not cover it all the way up. And I'm cleaning that acrylic plate with pure acetone. Yes, I am. And I found that tilting it a little bit in the light helps me to see it better when applying the polish. We are working on a solution for this. <laughs> I've been talking to a bunch of my friends about what we can do to make these plates, you know, to where we can see the designs underneath or on top with something underneath them. I did try putting it over a piece of um, black cardstock but that didn't really help a whole lot so we will see scrape scrape roll it up clean it up and get ready to plop that on the nail I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup and now we're going to top coat it again with posh top coat seal it all in cap that tip and there we go. That is my manicure. Oh, and look, Woody. Yay. <laughs> so there we go. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Leave me a comment down below and give me your thoughts. Here's my swatch photo. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.